Monday, July 17th, 2017. Whoa. Welcome in. It's going to be more of my ranty style video ish. I don't got a whole lot to talk about. Didn't really pay attention to the news. Didn't really pay attention to fake shit going around Facebook. I haven't really cared to. Same shit, different day. Oh god, I said shit on the freaking thing. Oh, this video can't be monetized. Not that I monetize my videos anyway, so I don't plan on making a single cent off YouTube, ever. Maybe, okay, maybe down the road I might, but... For the most part, these are all about just... Vlogging. Ah, oh, man. That's right. Pick up my nose. What a crazy weekend. Crazy, crazy good weekend. Seen my buddy. Sadly, he's got about two weeks before he's moving. Yeah. It was nice. I haven't been over there for a while. It's been like a month, month and a half. And I usually go over once, twice, three times, four times a week to visit. But the way life has been lately, I have been one very, very busy boy. And by busy, I mean sore. So I'm trying to re trying to recover my foot from being sore. Which, I managed to go four days without a brace. No pains. Two days of work. Full weekend, which I usually go the weekends without my brace because I'm not lifting anything. And then lo and behold, come back from first break today at 9.10, and on the way back, I step on a rock, twist my ankle, and there went my day. Currently, the foot is wrapped up. Just the ankle. Kind of keep it from uh, hurting so much. Kind of grip, grip it. The gripping helps so, so much. Again, never get ran over by a forklift. For the glove of freaking all that is God or whatever whatever higher power you believe in or not do not ever get ran over by a forklift it hurts a lot I've been hit by a car and that hurt I was more mangled from getting hit by a car to tell you the truth because you know as you can see right right here is where the bone came out and this foot was technically would have been spun around backwards. <clears throat> that happened in 03, July 24th or something like that, 03. I just remember, I remember all too well because it was uh, Rock Fest that day. $20 tickets to a concert, $20, t $20 a ticket. I was not allowed to go. Sadly, if someone had paid that $20 for me, I could have gotten could have gotten to go. But no, $20 for a ticket was too much at the time. I would have much rather have loved to have been at the concert. And there and again, I also shouldn't have made the last minute decision to change my plans like I did. Uh, main reason on that is, is literally, legitly, the last second I decided I'll go see my friends first and then go to my sister's house to go say hi for a little bit. What I should have done is... Went over to my sister, said hi for a few minutes, borrowed a game from them, and then rode my bike up to my friend's house. I would have never been in the parking lot that I was hit in. Yes, parking lot. One of these days I'll do a vlog video down over there where I got hit at. And show everybody on here that watches uh, that where it happened at. The tree that I flew through is still bent, and it's kind of funny. And... It, can't 100% say the stains on the ground where I ended up at are from me still. I would not imagine blood lasting on blacktop 14 years, but you never know. The last time I was out there a couple years ago, it still looked like there was a couple little spots left, but it might have just been oil. But yeah, nothing like getting flung halfway through an intersection and then three parking spots down. I got fucked up. Fucked up bad. Right after graduation. Blur. Changed all my plans. Was going to join the military. Wanted to join the military. Even still tried after I recovered from my accident to join them, all the military branches. I was denied by all. The Marines were my best choice because they were the least stickler about my medical record until it came time to fully register me. 
and do my physical, which I totally passed my physical until the medical exam happened. The full one where they noticed that. And then realized... <clears throat> the only nice part about that is, is I would have joined right at the time we went to straight in. Would have been sent to Iraq. Boom. Um, I appreciate everybody who has served, who's currently serving. And if you think about wanting to serve, it is a really good thing to do for this country. I wanted nothing more than to serve my country. <sighs> oh well. I definitely enjoy the freedoms that I get, the freedoms of choice, the freedoms to be myself. Of course, there is no such thing. According to a couple people on Facebook today, there is no such thing as freedom of choice. That's a delusion. I'm delusional. I'm also a traitor to my country because I voted for Trump. Go Team Trump. Nothing like being told that. Hey, it's great if you wanted to vote for Hillary and freaking Bernie or whatever. I did not like any of them. And that's just my personal opinion. Am I a super alt-right, freaking super Mondo conservative? Fuck. No. Maybe. Do I post a lot of conservative stuff? Oh, yeah. With so much hate coming towards Trump for just being himself, for trying to fulfill the promises and the stuff that he said he was going to do while he was in office? Damn it, right. It's not even six months. or seven months now? Six months? And they still haven't found any actual collusion with Russia. Now they're moving on to Don Jr. and trying to do that. Funny part about that is watched quite a few things on that. Funny how the Russian uh, lawyer that he was meeting up with, that he wasn't actually supposed to be meeting up with, it was somebody else, um, is on the DNC payroll and has shown up at DNC events. But we're not going to talk about that. The DNC is allowed to do whatever they want. The RNC, on the other hand, you know, mm -mm -mm -mm, which just, that's why it bothers me. I've never been one for either of the two main political parties, but when you're going to sit there and oust one person like this and just keep on fucking pushing and punching and trying to do whatever you can to find the wrongdoing that he didn't do, fucking A-Red, I'm going to go with that. Fucking A-Red, I voted for him because he's not an establishment fucking politician. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So far, he's not done anything bad. Oh my god! <clears throat> He's gonna take away all our rights! What rights? Can someone please, seriously, that hates Trump and that tells me, that keeps saying their rights are being taken away, tell me what rights are being taken away? That'd be nice. You know? I love to know what rights are being taken away. Or how he's going to raise everybody's taxes and make the tax cuts for the super rich, even though if you pay attention to his tax plan, um, people like me who pull in less than $26,000 a year would technically not have to pay more than like 5% taxes versus whatever it is now, which is a lot more. I lose $300 plus dollars a paycheck. 150 to 175 almost 200 goes to federal taxes a paycheck 200 dollars that's about 15 hours of my work less than that we'll see i make 12 an hour I'm doing some math here in my head Yeah, I think 15 sounds about right. 15 or 16 hours, some shit like that. So I had to work for two full days in my two-week period just to pay for my federal taxes. And where does this tax money go? To people on welfare who don't want to work, people who don't have a job that are getting free health care through the government that I... By the way, I pay $200 a month for my health care with a $5,000 premium that I have to hit before my health care covers anything. That's not a premium, that's a deductible, sorry. Um, so yeah. Obamacare. 
That was a freaking joke. People don't realize there's always been such things as state-ran health care that you can get on for people who don't make very much. That's always been a thing. My favorite one is, oh, you get to choose your doctor, you get to choose your plans, and it'll be affordable. Yeah, no. Never has it been affordable <coughs> since that shit happened. When I was working at freaking Burgerville, I was paying $35 for health care insurance there. A paycheck, so 70 bucks a month. And I had like a $1,000 deductible. And dental was on that too. And I paid a third. Of course, this was like eight years ago now. Not eight years ago, I lied. <laughs> this is like six, six years ago-ish now. Five, six years. Yeah. Crazy how that works. Uh, I gotta love these ranty videos. On a good side note, I see my best friend Caleb this weekend. We went and played some Pokemon Go. Finally got me a Gyarados. About time. About time. It was definitely nice getting to see him. Been cranking it out on WoW. I currently have six max level characters and I'm working on three more right now. One that'll be there this weekend. By this weekend. Two more that I'm slowly clinking in on and then I only got like three or four more classes to raise to max level and I'll have one of everything which would be cool. <coughs> I'm not trying to go and get the class all the class mounts right off the bat here. That's a lot of work. If you play World of Warcraft, you already know that. Um, that's a lot, a lot of work. I only have one class mount so far, and that's on my Warrior. Because Warrior is the shit. Nothing like playing a Fury Warrior. That was my, not my first class to play. My first class was a Warlock. Still play that one a little bit. They finally have fixed the style class that I play of the Warlock. Thank God, it was so dumb. Playing a Destruction Warlock last expansion was great. It legitly fit its theme. They wanted to change everything this expansion to make each each subclass in the class seem a little more unique, which Destruction was already unique. The Warlocks were pretty much set up where you could tell everything was, each of the three were different. Affliction, your dot, your damage over time guy, your demonology warlock, which summons demons, tons of them. And then your Destruction Warlock, which uses fire and fire attacks and stuff. Yeah, they changed that to make it not as not as fun, so I had to switch classes. Back to my Warrior, which I'm not sad about. I definitely love my Warrior, this expansion. <laughs> Someone tried telling me the only reason I'm playing it is because it was it's the top, DP, top DPS for the very longest time. Which is fine. Not why I played it. Played it because I know the class pretty well. I'm not that great with it, super great with it, but I'm good enough to survive for the most part and do my job and do a decent amount of damages. Yeah. It's almost that beautiful time today. Oh, I missed it by eight minutes. Oops. Well, that's all I got. This video is getting kind of a little rambly towards the end here. Just kind of wanted to throw something up, keep everybody updated. Uh, if you make it this far through the video, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for the 14 people I have so far that have subscribed to me. I blows my mind that uh, more than like three people even subscribed to me and stayed subbed. In fact, it seems like weekly I'm getting one more person. Awesome. <laughs> I mean... I, uh, yeah, I didn't expect people to actually care what I had to say, but, you know, it's kind of nice. Some people do. Ish. And if not, I, there and again, don't bother me. This is just me kind of doing my thing and just rambling. I kind of have fallen into this hobby. Uh, I should be doing some openings sometime in the next week or two. Contemplating opening my other fat pack up that I have of Origins for the hunt for Baby Jace, but... After looking on Amazon and eBay, it looks like the prices for those went up. So I'm kind of kicking myself for opening the one because I got it for 24 bucks months ago. 
which is way cheaper than the 35 at the freaking 35 at the the cheaper um, card shop versus 40 plus at the normal card shops or 42 at Walmart. And I always like to give my business to the card shops if I can. Okay, I lied on that. I don't usually give my money, my business to the card shops almost ever, really. They're always way too overpriced. When I can go get a booster box off the line of the brand new set for 90 bucks versus going and spending 110, I'm going to save that, that 20 bucks. <clears throat> there and again, if I wait long enough, I can get it for 75 80 from Rudy if he puts it on for the monthly sale. Go Rudy at Alpha Investments. Freaking love that guy. All right, so peace out. And as Rudy always says, may your tacos always be floppy.